direction like it did. At what point can you guys, did you guys kind of lock in on maybe we might get the guy we want? Go ahead, Gary, you want to take that one? Yeah, like I mean, we're just, we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're just, we're just, we're just, yeah, sorry. Uh, we just kind of monitored what was going on. I mean, obviously, it get, goes pretty quick in the second round. So uh, we had our eyes on him the whole year. I mean, we've been following him. But, uh, you know, you just never know if you can get a deal done and if you can get the, the, the pick that you want and if he's going to be there. So um, everything worked out. We got him. How hard was it to acquire the pick? Because sometimes teams don't want to do that. I mean, how, how, how hard was that? Yeah, that one, you know, what you're doing, especially when you're trying to buy a pick during the round, because we didn't want to commit to a pick before the round because we didn't know if mm -hmm. a couple of players that we'd like to be there, is you're really just touching base with teams every pick, a couple of picks ahead where you might want to buy in. So it's just really kind of something where you're trying to stay on top of the draft as it's moving, see who's coming off the board uh, of a list of players we might like. And as we we're getting further down in the draft, we felt really good that Brandon was still going to be there. So we were able to jump in and, and get the pick. Did he show you guys anything in the, in the workout that maybe you didn't see in person? When, when you watched him, was it anything different, or did it just reaffirm a lot of the stuff that you saw? Yeah, I think it was kind of more reaffirming everything. I mean, we knew you get to know him a little better. You get to spend some time with him, um, sit down and talk to him, but see him on the court with your coaches, um, kind of see what, what some of the things that, you know, there's probably some things that he showed that we hadn't seen before, but, um, you know, he's not a, he's a guy that plays in a big-time program and a successful program that's had NBA players. So, I mean, we know he's, you know, he's got that pedigree, so... I kind of just reaffirm what we knew. Did he make jump shots at all? Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. I mean, that's not his fit, though, right? I mean, that's not yeah. what you guys... No, but, like, you know, every player has strengths and weaknesses, and what we try and focus on more is not what's wrong with the player, you know, because you can find warts on everybody, and the more you look, sometimes you find more and more things. What we try and do is look at what a player really does, both the tangible, maybe basketball skills, and the intangible things, the work ethic, the, the second effort stuff, which we think are our skills also. And he has he has a ton of those. And like we said, he's still raw offensively. He's got to work on his perimeter game and things. But some of the things that he does on the court, you can't teach. It's just innate effort and competitiveness and toughness. And those are things, like I said, that we think are skills that are really going to blend in with what we're trying to do. Besides the surface of obviously being a four-year senior at Michigan State, do you see any comparisons between Dawson and Draymond Green? I think they're really different players. I think Draymond is, is further along offensively. What I do think they have in common, besides they're wearing the same colors when they went to school, was they are both tough kids. They like to compete. They don't back down from anybody. If there's a loose ball, they think it, they own it. If there's a ball on the boards, they think they own it. And I think inside, they just feel they're winners, that when they step on the court, they can help their team win, no matter who else is on the court with them. And that's one of the things I think just with Tom's program there, you get a lot of kids that come out of there that way. And I think those two exemplify that more than anything else. And are, you, are you guys going to be active at all with any undrafted guys? Do you, are you looking to fill other spots there with guys that maybe you liked and fell out of the first?